whether you're a tenured agent who's looking to switch from your current company to another or a newbie whose dream is to land a call center job, this video is for you. Today, I'll reveal to you the top 25 call center interview questions plus tips for you to ace your upcoming interview. Let's begin! First question is, are you a team player? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask your ability to work as a team player to assess your interpersonal skills, collaboration, and communication abilities. This question helps them understand how well you function in a group setting because teamwork is often crucial in this setting. Of course, it also provides insight into your attitude towards cooperation, problem solving, and your potential contribution to a positive work environment. Now, remember the qualities of a team player. Communicative, collaborative, adaptable, reliable, and demonstrates positive attitude, which means that when you are going to answer this question, you need to include any of these five qualities, if not all of them. And I guarantee you, it will surely let you pass the interview. Second question is, describe a green color to a blind person. Now, why do interviewers ask this question? It is to assess your creativity, communication skills, and the ability to think abstractly. This is an out-of-the-box question, so when you're asked by this question, it also reveals your problem-solving skills. Now, here are my pro tips. Number one, use your imagination by thinking of an object that is green in color, such as leaves, apple, crayon, etc. Use an extra effort to let the blind person touch that green thing so you can sense its texture, its smell, etc. Question number three. Do you have all your requirements and documents ready? Why do interviewers ask this rather simple question? That is to ensure that you are prepared and organized to see if you demonstrate attention to detail and the ability to follow instructions and to simply check if you have the necessary documents or requirements to proceed to the next step of the hiring process. Here are my pro tips. Yes is the answer your interviewer wants to hear from you. This will streamline the recruitment process and even if you're not sure that you'll be hired for the job, always, always bring your documents in an interview like your valid government IDs and resume or CV. Question number four, if you will be hired today, how soon can you start? Why do interviewers ask this question? To gauge your readiness and commitment to the position. It helps them see if you have existing notice to your current employer or any other commitments. To check your ability to transition into the new position quickly. This will also let them see how enthusiastic or interested you are in the job. So if you have a 30-day notice to your current company, then just let them know and tell them about it. Here are my pro tips. Number one, be honest with your interviewer. If you are still working in your current job, give them an assurance that you're almost done doing your 30-day notice and will be available in a week or two. If you are unemployed at the time of application, great. Saying yes, you are ready to work as soon as possible is an answer they want to hear from you. It means that you are committed to working with the company. Question number five. What's your favorite food? Tell me how you cook it. Now, why do interviewers ask this question? That is to assess your ability to communicate or provide details. It's not that they're interested in your favorite food, but rather a way for the interviewer to evaluate your interpersonal skills, creativity, and how well you can articulate a process or explain something in a clear and engaging manner. Now, here are my tips for you to nail this question. Number one, whether you know how to cook or not, you should have at least one favorite dish you like eating. Make sure you know how to cook that dish in a step-by-step -step manner. You should be familiar with all the ingredients and your special way of cooking it. 
Number two, put some creativity in your answers and use interesting words to capture your interviewer's attention such as delectable, palatable, etc. Question number six. Do you have any questions for me? Now, why do interviewers ask this question? That is because it allows them to assess your level of interest in the position and the company. It also gives you an opportunity to gather additional information about the role, team, or company culture, helping you make an informed decision about whether the job is the right fit for you or not. Now, here are my pro tips for you to narrow this question. Number one, always come up with something to ask in your interviewer because asking thoughtful questions demonstrate your research about the company and your level of engagement in your interview. Number two, having nothing to ask may mean that you're not that interested, you're not listening, or you haven't researched anything about them that you're curious to know about. Question number seven, what will be your reasons for you to quit this job? Why do interviewers ask this question? They ask this to understand your motivations, work preferences, and any potential concerns. Your response helps them assess if the job aligns with your long-term goals and if you've considered factors like career growth, work environment, or any specific needs you may have. It also provides insight into your self-awareness and ability to communicate openly about potential challenges. Pro tips, feel free to mention reasons that will make you quit, but it should be an acceptable answer, something that even the company would let you go because of this. Number two, answering reasons like toxic boss, difficult tasks, loads of tasks among others can make you fail the interview. Instead, acknowledging your job as a blessing and stating answers like, I will quit after retirement or if I've fallen into an accident that made me incapable of doing the job are answers the interviewer will most likely agree with you. Question number 8. What do you know about our company? Why do interviewers ask this kind of question? Interviewers ask about your knowledge of the company to assess your level of preparation and interest. It demonstrates whether you've taken the time to research the company, its values, mission, and recent developments. Your response helps the interviewer understand if you are genuinely interested in the specific role and if you align with the company's goals and culture. It's a way for them to gauge your commitment and enthusiasm for the potential position. Now, here are my tips for you to nail this. Number one, I highly encourage you to do your research about the company's mission, vision, company culture, and recent developments before heading to an interview. Number two, doing this will save you from embarrassment of not being able to know about a thing or two about the company. Three, it's hard to come up with stories about that company if you fail to research, so please take the time to visit their website. Question number nine. Are you willing to work during holidays? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your willingness to work during holidays to understand your flexibility, commitment, and dedication to the job. It helps them assess if you are open to meeting the demands of the position, especially if the job may require occasional or regular work during holidays. Your response provides insight into your work ethic and whether you are adaptable to the company's needs, which can be crucial in the VTO industry. Here are my pro tips. Answering yes to this will guarantee that you'll pass this question. If you prefer saying no, prepare to also fail the interview. Understand that there might be a need for you to occasionally go to work during holidays, especially if the company operates 24-7 or 24 hours a day, 7 times a week. Question number 10. Are you amenable to work during your rest day if needed? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your willingness to work on your rest day to gauge your flexibility, commitment, and dedication to the job. This question helps them understand if you are open to occasional adjustments in your schedule to meet the demands of the position. 
Your response provides insight into your work ethic and your willingness to go above and beyond when necessary, which can be crucial in roles where flexibility is required, such that of the roles in the BPO. Now, pro tips based on my experience, going to work during work off rarely happens, so saying yes to this on your interview will not just help you pass the interview, but will also let the interviewer know that you're willing to do an extra mile for the company. And number two, flexibility is essential in the BPO world due to its ever-changing nature. So saying no to this question is a major turn-off on your interviewer side, so refrain from saying no. Next question, are you comfortable to render an overtime? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your comfort with overtime to assess your flexibility, dedication, and ability to handle potential workload demands. This question helps them understand if you are willing to put in extra hours when necessary, which can be essential in certain roles or during peak work periods. Your response provides insight into your commitment to meeting deadlines and ensuring the successful completion of tasks, contributing to their evaluation of your suitability for the position. Now, here are my pro tips. Number one, as someone who worked in the PPO industry for more than three years, I can say that rendering an overtime doesn't always happen. It usually happens during peak seasons like holidays. Therefore, saying yes to this is okay. Plus, your overtime is paid. If you say no, you'll be marked as unfit for the role, so never say no as an answer. Question number 12, are you comfortable to work in shifting schedule? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your comfort with shifting schedule to determine your flexibility and adaptability. Jobs with varying or irregular work hours require candidates who can adjust to different schedules. Your response helps them assess if you can accommodate the specific needs of the position and if you're comfortable with the potential challenges that come with a non-traditional work schedule. It's a way for them to ensure that you are a good fit for the demands of the role. Pro tips, working in BPO will certainly adjust your sleeping routine as we are working mostly at night. Therefore, it is a must for you to say yes to this question. If you say no, you'll be marked as unfit for the role as you can match the demand of the job. Question number 13. How long is your travel time? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your travel time to understand potential logistical challenges and assess your ability to meet the job's requirements. It helps them gauge your reliability and whether you have considered the practical aspects of commuting to and from work. While it's not a determining factor for you to pass or fail this interview, this information can be relevant especially if punctuality and regular attendance are crucial for the position, which definitely is a BPO this is crucial. So tip, be honest and tell how much time you spend traveling to the office. If you live nearby, it's a good thing. If not, you need to assure the interviewer that you are willing to relocate if needed and that you are an early riser. Question number 14, why did you leave your previous job? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about why you left your previous job to understand your motivations, assess your professional history, and identify any potential red flags. Your response provides insight into your work values, how you handle workplace challenges, and your level of professionalism. It helps them evaluate if there are any concerns or patterns in your career that might impact your suitability for the new position. Now, here are my pro tips. Be prepared to discuss your departure with honesty and tact. Focus on sharing the positive aspects and what you've learned from that work experience. Never ever badmouth your previous employer. Question number 15. How do you see yourself five years from now? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your future plans to understand your career goals and aspirations. This question helps them assess if your ambitions align with the opportunities and growth potential within the company. It also allows them to gauge your commitment to the role and if you have a clear vision for your professional development. 
Pro tips, providing a thoughtful and realistic response to this question demonstrates your strategic thinking and can contribute positively to your overall impression during the interview. Remember to always include the company you're applying in your future vision. Number 16. Can you work under pressure? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your ability to work under pressure to assess your resilience, problem-solving skills, and how you handle challenging situations. Jobs often come with tight deadlines or high-stress scenarios, and your response helps them understand if you can perform effectively in such conditions. Pro tip number one, demonstrate your experience and strategies for managing pressure to reassure the interviewer that you are well-equipped to handle the demands of the position and share a real-life experience where you've been put in a tough situation but you're able to handle it with grace. Number 17. What are your weaknesses? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your weaknesses to assess your self-awareness, honesty, and your ability to acknowledge areas for improvement. It allows them to gauge your level of introspection and whether you are proactive in addressing and overcoming challenges. Ang lalim naman ng introspection. Or... Okay, here are my pro tips. Number one, when answering this question, it's valuable to discuss weaknesses that are relevant to the job, but also highlight how you're working to improve or mitigate them. Number two, this demonstrates a commitment to personal and professional growth. So, nail it. Number 18, what are your strengths? Why do interviewers ask this question? <laughs> interviewers ask about your strengths to understand the qualities and skills you bring to the job. This question allows them to assess how well your strengths align with the requirements of the position. It provides an opportunity for you to highlight your key attributes, achievements, and capabilities, helping the interviewer envision how you can contribute positively to the team and the organization. Here are my pro tip or pro tip lang isa lang. Choose one or two of your greatest strengths related to the job and explain how these positive traits of yours can contribute to the role. Number 19, do you have plans to take your board exam? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers may ask about your plans to take board exams to understand your future career goals and commitment to professional development. This question is particularly relevant in fields or industries where board exams are common for licensure or certification. It also helps employers gauge your long-term commitment to the profession and whether this will affect your future role or not. Now, here are my pro tips for you to nail this question. Number one, this is ask to college graduates whose course is an option to take a licensure exam. So, if you're a college undergraduate or senior high school graduate, skip this part. If you are a college graduate, a short interviewer that you don't have plans to take the board exam yet, as your main priority is to get into the job. This will make them feel that you are not going to resign in the next couple of months to attend review classes or pursue your profession. Number 20. How much is your salary expectation? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your salary expectations to ensure that there is alignment between what you're looking for and what the company is willing to offer. It helps them assess whether your expectations are within the budget for the position and if there is room for negotiation. This question is crucial in determining if both parties are on the same page regarding compensation, ensuring a more transparent and efficient hiring process. Pro tip number one, research industry standards and average salaries for similar roles in your location to ensure your expectations are reasonable. Provide a salary range rather than a fixed number. This gives you flexibility and shows that you're open to negotiation. Factor in benefits, bonuses, and other perks when discussing compensation to present a more comprehensive view of your expectations and express your openness to discussing compensation further and emphasize your interest in the position and the company. Number 21. Do you have a call center experience already? 
why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your course and the experience to assess your familiarity with the environment and the specific skills required for such roles. Having prior experience in a call center can indicate that you are accustomed to handling customer inquiries, navigating systems, and working in a fast-paced, customer-centric setting. This question helps the interviewer understand how quickly you might adapt to the demands of the job and if you bring relevant skills to the position. Here are my pro tips. For newbies, admit that you don't have an experience yet, but express your deep interest to become one. Highlight your skills aligned to the role such as good communication skills and the ability to adapt to changes. For the Nord agents, state your work experiences as an agent and highlight your role and your achievements in that specific role. Number 22. Why did you not apply in a job related to what you finished in college? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers may ask why you didn't apply for a job related to your college degree to understand your career choices, motivations, and the evolution of your professional interests. Your response allows them to gauge whether your current career path aligns with your academic background or if there has been a shift in your career focus. It's an opportunity to showcase your adaptability, skills gained in different areas, and how your unique experience make you a valuable candidate for the position even if it's not directly related to your college major. Pro tips! This applies to those college graduates who chose to apply in the BPO rather than applying in their field of expertise. If this is not you, skip this question. To those similar to me, explain that you're grateful with your current degree but you're always open to other opportunities available. Number 23, what is your idea of a call center agent? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your idea of a call center agent to assist your understanding of the role and the qualities you associate with it. Your response helps them gauge if you have a realistic understanding of the responsibilities, skills, and challenges involved in being a call center agent. It also provides an opportunity for you to highlight the specific skills and attributes you possess that make you well suited for the position. Now, here are my pro tips. For newbies, make sure you did your research about the common tasks and traits of a call center agent prior to an interview. For the Nord agents, express your understanding of this question based on your previous role. Number 24, why did you choose to apply in the BPO industry? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask why you chose to apply in the BPO industry to understand your motivations and alignment with the demands of the sector. This question allows them to assess whether you have a clear understanding of the industry, its work environment, and if your skills and career goals align with what the BPO industry typically entails. Your response provides insight into your decision-making process and how well you research the industry before applying. Pro tips number one specify or highlight every single positive aspect of this industry that you like the most and express your willingness to be part of this industry. And last but not the least, number 25, tell me something about yourself. Why do interviewers ask this question? When interviewers ask, tell me something about yourself, they are seeking to get a sense of your professional background skills, and personal attributes. This question serves as an open-ended prompt for you to provide a concise and relevant overview of your qualifications, experience, and what makes you a suitable candidate for the position. It helps the interviewer understand your career trajectory, key achievements, and how your background aligns with the requirements of the job. Now, here are my pro tips. Number one, while answering this question, highlight your professional background, skills, and attributes. Don't forget to include why you're suitable for the position. That's everything, but please stay tuned to my next video as I will be posting the sample answers for these particular questions that I provided you because I only provided you the questions as well as the tips in this video. But if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like. You can also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. 
already and if you have video suggestions feel free to let me know in the comment section below because i promise to create those videos for you in the future and if you have questions or comments regarding our topic for today please comment that below as well because i promise i will reply to each and every comments or questions of you guys and by the way, even if I'm no longer part of the BPO industry, I still do referrals. So if you want me to refer you to a BPO industry, then send me a message in my Facebook page named The Yumi C. I can refer you for sure. Just send me a message. And by the way, I'm planning to launch an online course and also sell merchandise for all of you guys. So if you're interested in me doing that, please let me know in the comment section below as well. And of course, if you want to learn more about this industry in particular, I have lots and lots of videos which I'll be putting the links in the description box below. And yeah, I'll talk to you next time. Bye!